Hello everyone, long time no see. So today I have quite a story for you guys. Saying that this past week has been insane would be a complete understatement. Absolutely one of the craziest weeks of my life. I'm still in complete and utter shock. I just don't know what to do with myself. I am a new person. On Thursday, I actually had the amazing opportunity to meet President Obama, the first African American president of the United States. And I said, it was absolutely insane. So I'll just, I'll back it up a little bit. I'll start from the beginning. Here is my experience meeting President Obama. So this started about a week and a half ago, I think. And he announced at six in the morning that he was going to come visit our town and give a speech on tourism. Naturally, everyone was shocked and completely unprepared. I don't know. Uh, having the president come to your town is kind of a big deal. It like doesn't happen very often. So there was like a, so much preparation going on around my town. Our main street is actually being redone right now and we didn't have any sidewalks in. They put the sidewalks in in two days. There were banners hung up everywhere. There were pictures of his face all over the place. It was pretty crazy. The town was really, really excited for him to come. There were so many things that came into play that I don't think anyone had ever expected. I heard a lot of stuff through the grapevine. One thing that I thought was really, really cool was they actually had to keep an OR open at all times in case something happened to him. I also heard through the grapevine that he travels with his blood with him. So if he needs a transfusion, he has extra blood with him at all times. There was a lot of talk going on around my town. One really weird thing though, is that no one in the town knew when he was gonna get here. His schedule was kept completely secret until the day of, I think. Everything was so vague and no one knew anything. Furthermore, they shut down the entire town the day he came. They totally cut off all the streets and no one could really drive around. And they closed the school early. So onto my more personal side of the story. My sister was actually chosen to say the Pledge of Allegiance at his speech. So she got to go to the speech and then I guess they felt bad and they gave me a ticket too. So I also got to go see his speech and I actually ended up sitting in the front row. That was absolutely insane. So crazy. I left school at 11.30 and then I went down to like the venue at 12.30. He didn't get there until about 3.25, 3.30 I wanna say. So we were just kinda chilling there, waiting for him to come. Counting down, checking checking our phones, checking our watches. And then at about 3.35, I think, some Secret Service guy came out holding the presidential seal, like the circle, and then he went and plopped it up on the podium. That is how we knew that he was in the building, and that's how we knew that Obama was about to come and speak to us. And so there was lots of nervous tension in the room. You could hear the whispers and the snickers. Also, by the way, there were only approximately 150 people in this speech. So I was like, I was really, really lucky to be able to go. It was very, very, I'm very, 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 very grateful. Um, he out of nowhere just pretty much walked out of the wing and stepped up on the podium and was like, what's up, I'm Obama. And everyone was like, Bah! And they stood up and they started clapping and everyone was freaking out. And I started like shaking. I don't know, it was really weird because I didn't think I was gonna be that nervous. I was like, yeah, it's Obama, it's chill, it's a person. Is he actually even coming? I don't know. And then he was standing in front of me and it was crazy. And he's really, really, really tall. I didn't know he was that tall, but he's really tall. Um, so he gave his speech. It was approximately 15 minutes, I think. And he was basically just talking about tourism. I don't know, the whole speech is on C-SPAN. You can watch it if you want. I'm actually in it. So then the speech was over and everybody stood up and started clapping and we were like, wow, that was so cool. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I didn't, th I thought he was just going to walk out and leave, but then, oh my God, he stepped off the podium and he came down and he went, if this is the row, I was like right here. He started over here and he went down and he like shook the person's hand. He was like, hello. So nice to meet you. So good to see you. Oh my God. I had a little bit of a shit fit. Oh my God. I had actually tried to get a selfie with him during the speech. It turned out really heinous. So I had this idea in my head and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to ask Obama for a selfie when he comes by me because how many people in the world can say that they have a selfie with Obama? Like he is a sitting president. He is freaking Barack Obama. I don't know. So anyway, he was walking down the line. He was shaking everyone's hand and then he got to me and I shook his hand and we talked for a second and it was really, really cool. And then basically what happened was I was like, Hey, president Obama, do you think we could take a selfie really quickly? And his face was just kind of like, ha <laughs> ha. Um, no. Ah! I asked the President of the United States for a selfie, and he said no. His excuse was that if he took a selfie with me, then he would have to take a selfie with everyone, and I think he was just too dignified for that, which is really acceptable, because I, I don't know, I don't really, like, I'm not a big selfie fan, but how, I don't know, I just, 
How cool would it be to have a selfie with Obama? However, even though he said no to my selfie, he did agree to take a picture with me. We posed, he put his arm around me, I put his arm around him, and then he smiled and I smiled and my mom took the picture. I was freaking out and I was shaking and I was like ah. And he was on his merry way. Even though he had moved on, I was still really embarrassed because I asked the president for a selfie and he said no. And I just know that as he was flying to Chicago after he left, he's gonna be chilling on his jet with his secret service people and they're just gonna be laughing about that kid who asked for a selfie. What an idiot. Anyway, from there, the speech was over, he left. I think he was like in the building for a total of 20 minutes. Still, people are talking about it. That is how I met the president of the United States. Definitely, definitely one of the craziest experiences of my life. And let me just say, I have actually met quite a few famous people. Barack Obama was one of the most down to earth, relaxed, easygoing people that I've ever like talked to. I don't even know what else to say. I'm like I said, I'm still in shock. I was shaking for like two hours afterwards. I thought I was gonna like throw up. That is that. So everyone, I believe that's it for this week. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. So I will see you guys next Sunday. Until then, stay fetch, stay ragged, stay brutal, stay awesome. And stay dirty. It's a